Welcome back, this is Tradius with another episode in the LA Rams franchise. Week 5, coming off a terrible defeat against the Dallas Cowboys. That really showed us the value of holding onto the ball. Uh, I think that's something that each college coach imprints uh, into his uh, players. Just protect the ball, hold onto the ball, secure the ball. We didn't do that, we weren't able to do that and that really cost us. We had three forced fumbles and, and so many tackles for loss and, and yeah, six interceptions. It was just a terrible, terrible game. We're going to try to turn it around against the Baltimore Ravens now, get back on the winning ways and uh, prepare ourselves for the tough, tough schedule. And I wasn't aware of that actually, but uh, looking at the schedule, we've got the Ravens, <clears throat> then the Giants, then the Bengals, the Cardinals, the Panthers, tough team that we lost against uh, last offs, uh, last playoffs. Then the football team, that's always fun. Then the 49ers again, the Browns, Eagles, Seahawks, Jags, Cardinals and Steelers. So very, very mixed, uh, mixed game plan to go about. Very tough teams in there, especially the Bengals are going to be tough. The Panthers are going to be tough. Um, and 49ers are going to be tough again. So yeah, no easy games in the NFL. And that's what I love about this that's what i love about the game let's take a look at the players ready to negotiate again um we do have cooper cup who's not interested so he will not be a rams player next year we do have george Karlaftis and jonah williams up for negotiations and i don't see the point in dragging this out um, i want to lock them down as quickly as possible all right we're going to be giving george Karlaftis a seven-year contract there is no doubt in my mind that he is our future left edge player. There's no doubt in my mind that he will be going up and becoming so good. So we're gonna hand him a long, long-term deal. There we go. And he's signing with us and I'm super happy. Could be happier. That's fantastic news. Next up, we're gonna try and lock down Jonah Williams, but a shorter deal. I think three years is fair. That's gonna be 11.9 cap hit. That's a lot of money. Not quite sure if I really wanna go there or if we're gonna look to maybe do a trade with someone for a cheaper, more solid player. He's a number 13 ranked left tackle. I mean, he's good as is, but uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that open for the moment. We got the deal done. It took some time, actually. <laughs> I might even put that into the video as a super, super compressed, quick run through. But we got the deal done. We are sending our wide receiver Cooper Cup, 30 years old, 99 overall, Super Bowl champion, and a scheme fit to the Bengals, along with the third and fourth round pick for next year's draft. And we are receiving wide receiver Jamar Chase, 93 overall. Superstar Dev Trade, 23 years old, and D Tackle Reader, who we had to take because otherwise we would have gone over the salary cap. But actually, that's not bad because we can now improve our D Tackle position. Uh, so that actually works out quite well for us. All right, we got the other deal done as well. We're sending Jonah Williams. Left tackle, 25 years old, 85 overall scheme fit, star dev trait to the Browns along with a seventh round pick for this year and a second round pick for next year. And we are receiving Jedrick Wills Jr. A left tackle, 86 overall and a star dev trait as well. Slightly younger, I think he's 24. And uh, <laughs> we're also receiving uh, quarterback John Walford back. We needed to get him back because otherwise we would have put the other team over the salary cap. So that was the only reason why we're taking him. And we will be releasing quarterback John Walford straight away again because he has no place in our team. We are now going to do a quick shuffle of the team before we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Ravens squad. So the team as it stands right now is we have added 
Jedrick Wills Jr., 24 years old, out of Alabama, 87 overall. Number 12 ranked left tackle. We actually went up one in the ranking. Uh, we had to do this because Jonah Williams wouldn't have been sustainable to re-sign. Um, and I wouldn't have re-signed him. So now we've got a comparable uh, left tackle brought in here. Actually pretty happy with him. We've got Will Lampkin here. He will be uh, replacing Brian Allen as long as he's injured. Zach Tom will be our center. Let me just take a look here. He is looking passable, but we could put Emil Ekior Jr. at center as well. And I actually feel like we will be doing that. So if we, to do that, we need to put Logan Bruss here. And now we can add Emil Ekior Jr. over here. All right, so that's the first thing that happened. The second thing that happened is you might notice that a certain someone is, is gone. So that's Cooper Cup. He has left the team and uh, Justin Shorter is now our wide receiver one. Jamar Chase is our wide receiver two. I'm very excited about this one actually. Um, he has high speed acceleration, catching, catching traffic, medium route, deep route, spectacular catch, release, jumping, all very good. He's 23 years old, seven years younger than Coop was. I'm a bit sad to see Coop leave. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, but uh, there's nothing we can do here. And as a sign of respect, we're gonna be giving Jamar Chase the number 10 Coop's number here as a remembrance. But on the other hand, we have to be honest and, and, and be be realistic. Coop wouldn't have resigned. The money was too much. And uh, there we go. We went for an option that's a bit cheaper. And both teams are actually good, uh, are, are well off. We'd receive a player that is quite exciting. Um, and the other team receives a player that is that is a uh, very solid already and an elite wide receiver we've got a van jefferson here that's still too far up the pegging order i put him all the way down tycoon thornton over here and then two to our well, one dale robinson there we go and on defense we've had an addition we had to go for dj reader i didn't want to go for him but yeah <laughs> here he is number 13 ranked defensive tackle strength block shedding power moves tackle player recognition awareness he's gonna buff our defense a little bit more um i didn't necessarily want to sign him but we might use him in a, in a further trade still to come this season I'm, i still feel like i'm not done yet but it actually feels a little bit better in comparison to bobby brown who can improve behind dj reader so the ravens team <laughs> are led by two quality quarterbacks one is carson wentz uh, journeyman and one is colin kaepernick carson wentz has now played and i'm going to look at that he's he has played for the philadelphia eagles the indianapolis Colts, the washington football team and now for the baltimore ravens uh, with varying uh, success but since lamar jackson isn't here anymore they went all out and signed a bunch of quarterbacks colin kaepernick is here as well he has played with let me see san francisco 49ers then with the Houston Texans, the Washington football team, and now with the Baltimore Ravens. He is QB2, as it seems. Marcus Mariota is in there as well, and Tanner McKee. Wow, what a quarterback room. But yeah, let's not underestimate them. I have lost to these quarterbacks before, especially Colin Kaepernick. So this would hurt a lot. Halfback is J.K. Dobbins, superstar. So the run game is going to be very good. Number 20 ranked halfback. Here we go. Bijan Robinson and Malachi, Malachi Newton, there we go. Fullback is Patrick Ricard. Wide receivers, Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Will Fuller the fifth, Ronnie Bell and Dante Forbes. I played them in the Snowhawks franchise and they are a tough team to beat, a very tough team to beat. They're uh, very good in the passing. Um, tight end Mark Andrews, 99 rated. What is the number one ranked tight end? Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> got our work cut out for us here. Nick Boyle is in there. Charlie Collar, left tackle is Ronnie Stanley. I think he is the number one ranked left tackle. There we go. So that's sort of Jackson Kirkland, left guard Tyree Phillips, Jeremiah Seri, centrist Tyler Lindebaum, out of the 2022 draft out of Iowa. 
I used him in a lot of rebuilds. He's a fantastic center to have. Uh, Luke Whipler, Jeremiah Lindsay, right card is Kevin Zeitler. Actually, 78, 33, regressing already. Phil Haynes, right tackle, Jawan James, and Glenn Miller. Left edge, Taven Bryan, Carlos Basham Jr. Right edge, Kalei Campbell, 37 already. Wow, 79 overall. Yeah, he's going down in overalls. Xavier Thomas might be the better choice to put Xavier Thomas in there, but okay. Jason Harris is well an option. D tackle is Michael Pierce, 30 years old, still 92. Number eight rank D tackle, Raquan Goody, Travis Jones. I actually looked at Raquan Goody to sign him. Might go for him at some point in time. Uh, left outside linebacker David Ojabo, also out of the 2022 draft. Very solid left outside linebacker. Gonna be tough to avoid Moamud Diabiti. Yeah, got that right. Normal death trait, 74 overall. Solid. Mid linebacker Patrick Queen, 24 years old, 85 overall. Does look quite good actually. Justin Flo and Palai Gautioti the fourth. <laughs> Just imagine there's three other Palai Gautiotis out there with the same name. That's a picture. Right outside linebacker Odafeo Way. I really like this one, except when he's playing against me, because then he's always tough to beat. That's a very, very tough linebacker. Super powerful, super strong. Tius Bowser. Cornerback Marlon Humphreys injured. That is positive. 18 weeks. Oh my god. Now that's a career breaking injury right there. Marcus Peters is going to be cornerback one. He's still a very tough one to beat, even if he's 30. Javelin Goodry, Marion Williams, Dorian Strong. So these two will be CB1 and CB2. Free safety, Marcus Williams. 26, 91 years old, uh, 91 overall, 26 years old, there we go. Number six rank, free safety. Max Lane behind him, a rookie, strong safety, Chuck Clark. 28 years old, number 10, JJ Godwin, kicker Justin Tucker, punter, Presley Harvin the third. And a Justin Tucker is the number one ranked kicker. What is the suggestion here? Defend the short pass. All right, let's go with that then. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna go with the split. And maybe our new D tackle will be able to help us stop them quicker. And what is this actually? Blitz counter. Why is it showing us Justin Tucker, the kicker doing the runs? That's weird. That is weird. We're going to go with the blitz counter. And uh, what about player uh, fatigue? Going to go with the full pads, going to go with the splits. Just to be on the safe side here. There we go. I'm not going to be changing our focus players yet. Weekly game plan goals, let's see. One interception, of course, defensive coordinator. We're gonna pick it off twice. Or can we, do we go for sack the QB? Do we have that here? Sack the QB three plus times. Let's try that. Offensive coordinator, gonna go with score two offensive touchdowns. And the head coach, We're gonna go with the 70% top. I do think that's realistic. All right, offense has completed training and it's actually looking good. I see no injuries here. What about defense? See a lot of experience points. No fatigue debuffs, that is great. All right. We're gonna take care of the upgrades and we're gonna take another look at our squad. Kenneth Murray Jr. gets an upgrade. Field General, of course. Awareness, block shedding, man crouch, player recognition, and tackle. Tyler Bass gets an upgrade towards power, of course. 
83 now. David Long Jr. will get an upgrade to his man to man. That's great awareness, man coverage, player recognition, Noah Sewell. Upgrade towards a run stopper. There we go, block shading, player recognition, tackle, zone coverage. Two to add, will get an upgrade towards route runner. So now he's a 74 awareness, catching medium route release. And finally, George Halaftis will get an upgrade towards power rusher as well. Awareness, hit power, and speed. All right, that is good. That is good. I think we already settled everything in regards to our squad. So we're not gonna be taking care of that anymore, but uh, one upgrade here. We will put that into the offensive lineman. Tua coming onto the field again, SoFi Stadium is where we're going to be playing the Baltimore Ravens and let's see what we can pull off with our new setup the new build of the squad we've got no targets to reach so we can focus entirely on our rhythm here and Cam Akers first play no fumble that's the goal what a shove number 10 <laughs> Bring the pain here. <laughs> now we lose a yard straight away. Let's go with an inside zone split here. Heading towards the right, away from that mismatch. Cam Akers pushing through here. Good bit of support by Sam Cosman, third and four. Let's go the play action post shot. Mayor, Jefferson, Shorter, Chase. A lot of options here. Mayor gets gets the ball here. Gets free. Shoved out of bounds by number six. That's Queen coming across to stop him from progressing any further. I loved how he avoided that first tackle. I'm going to go with a half-back one now right hand side run off we go near towards the inside can we find a route and that looks good seven yards maybe more the pick up here eight yards the pick up fantastic let's go the half back dive right hand side coming straight for that first down Ooh. And do we get the first down? It's third and one. It is third and one. So we're going to go the halfback slash. Left side. Stacking up. Can we get through here? Ooh, come on. I don't think we made it. It's fourth and one. It is fourth and one. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? We're going to go with the halfback dive. I want the points. I want uh, the, the the distance covered. Oh my god! That was a bad choice. Should have gone for the field goal. And it's Carson Wentz out onto the field now. Let's see if our defense can stop them. And they do. All right, that is positive. Go the halfback. Wham. It's all about rhythm. It's all about rhythm. Getting morale back. There we go. Beautiful track there by Cam Akers. And the home team gains momentum. And defensive stops. That's good. Let's go with a zone flip jet here. Left hand side run. Jamar Chase. We're going to get the ball to him at some point in time, but not yet. Not yet. We are still in need of it. That didn't work. That did not work. Kelly Campbell locking up here. We'll lose some yards again. We're going to go with a cross drag. I want to see Jamar Chase in action. Tyke Thornton also an option. Michael Mayer. And off we go. All is underway. Jamar Chase gets the ball. What a run. What a catch. Pushed out of bounds. 
still number 10 for us. And I mean that in no disrespect at all. This is only, only out of respect for Cooper Cup. I really like the player in real life. In the game, there are certain rules that differ from real life and just didn't, just didn't see um, any chance of really going through here. Right, number 87 couldn't handle uh, the push here, the shoving. So let's go to the next spot. Jefferson or Mayer are my two options. Let's see what we can do here. And that is Mayer. He gets the ball, gets taken down by number 19. Third and five. Third and five. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Not too bothered here. Let's go with the flank rounder. Jamar Chase is quite a long route. And Jefferson is also an option here. There we go. Jamar Chase, the ball straight to him. And uh, coming along just when we needed him to come along. 18 yards to cross in the second quarter for the first touchdown. And the smash towards the right here. But how far can we get? So we're gonna flip the halfback slip screen. Gonna go towards the right. Second and eight. Can Lakers. Let's see if he can get free. Yeah. Moving up, moving up the pitch a little bit, but only a yard. That could have gone better. Let's try bench switch here. We've got Van Jefferson, but we've got Mayer as well. Or Jamar Chase. Maybe one of those. Can't hold on to the ball here. Fourth and seven. Now we're going to go for the field goal. No more experiments here. Hey. Accurate kick, Tyler Bass. Pits between the sticks. And everything is good here. That is well done. Defense stops them again in the second quarter. Fantastic. Let's go to cross drag. Thornton and Mayer switch things up a little bit here. There we go. Number six. Queen shoves him out of bounds. We couldn't really get going. But fantastic result nonetheless. We move forward. And he's my go-to guy. Very solid, very quick. Second and one and a half that draw. What else? Three, two, one. Off we go. Ooh, that is a terrible, terrible offensive line. Third and inches is the result. I mean, can we just push through that, please? Fullback guy, Bruce Hall. Left hand side rush here. Off we go. Alright, we get the first down. That's all I wanted to see. As we will revert. Let's go the halfback mid draw. 43 seconds. Just want to get up the pitch a little bit. Get us in a field goal range. Time acres fighting for guards. That's a lot cross to follow now. 22 seconds to play. 2019. Could be calling a quick timeout here. As Michael Mayer at the pitch, out of bounds. 12 seconds. The clock is stopped. And he has reduced stamina again. That is great. That is really great. Gonna be, be going for another push here. 
you can make this, but the offensive line is really struggling, to put it mildly. Defense is just extremely tough. Not a Hail Mary, but especially teams. Tyler Bass now. There we go. And now it's field goal. Well done. Six points on the board. And that is better than nothing. And we stopped them again. That is great. I wasn't expecting that, but we actually hold them to a field goal. Six and three. Current score. There we go. That is Cam Akers. And he's up the pitch so far. That right, is Peters who shoved him out of bounds. Right. What a great run. Let me just show you that again. Especially illustrating Jamar Chase. He's on the side here. Slightly ahead. And uh, he blocks. And he blocks. And he blocks. And he does that long enough for Cam Akers to get into position. Yeah, next up, he's going to have that wide zone. To his left hand side here. Alright, Reese Hogg would have needed that interference. Alright, zone fake chat. That's what we're going to do next. Got a mismatch here in the right back field. And no football. And there's actually space to be had. A nice juke move here by Cam Akers. And Cam Akers, and Cam Akers. And that guy. But that was a great run. What a great run. Just look at that sidestep here. Out onto the left hand side. Towards the middle. Fantastic rushing distance. <laughs> and it took three defenders of the Baltimore Ravens to push him out of bounds. First and goal, two yards. What else, apart from Breeze Hall, are we going to bring in? Let's get that touchdown. Let's complete this drive here. Nope, number six. Because I remember him. He was such an annoying factor in the loss for the Snowhawks. And another try here. Can't get from it. That's one yard. Then go. Final fullback dive. Come on, Brace Hall. Let's get it done. And no way through. No way through there. That is absolutely impossible. To be honest, that is annoying. <laughs> Maybe let's go to pass next time. Slightly inaccurate, but uh, close enough to get the ball through. And it's 9 3 now. Only field goals, no touchdowns. Fourth quarter, 4 minutes 22 to play. And we're gonna go the halfback dive again. I would really like to get a touchdown on the board. Can't make this on my way through here. Center Post Jr. And uh, a center that tried to control the defense, but that didn't really work out as intended. We've got Chase towards the backfield. That would be great, or Jefferson, or Mayer. Oh, that sucked. God damn it. Number 23, third and 21. And that is not good. Because that's, put, that's uh, putting us in a really bad position here. Gotta go with a dagger. I wanted to go for Chase. Should have gone for somebody else, maybe. So shorter Chase for Mayor. And Mayor up the pitch. 
Yes, there's an injury for Pierce here on the Ravens, fourth and eight. We're gonna have to punt, and I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. Matarasa doing a great job here on punting duty. Taylor Rapp is the Russian man. He actually manages to get away. Three minutes to play. Come on, D. And they stop them. That's important. That is super important. Now let's make it count. But this defense is really, really tough. Really tough. Hardly any way through. And if we do get through, it works. Three yards to pick up here. It's going to be a play action cross stick shot. Jamar Chase. And as we hit the two minute mark, this is a tough game. I expected as much, but we are way more in the game than uh, we were against the Cowboys. I'm making as many mistakes. And here we go. Pan Acres left hand side again. No really dating that, but we push up field so far. That was a great run. Let's go with a halfback zone right now. Now it's 55 to cover. Two timeouts left for the Ravens. Yeah. Yeah, so that would come. They don't want it, fellas. They this, uh, don't want it. this was not what I was looking for. Second and 11. Let's try a halfback stretch towards the left hand side. I need Hopkins and Shorter to really, really cover. And it works. It really works here. Timeout called by the Ravens. And, uh, yeah. We could go for a new, but I just don't like doing that. Let's go the single back formation here. Terrible matchup towards that side. So let us flip the play. Probably going towards it right now. Slightly better matchup. Yeah, there we go. Kelly, not really going too far. The wind guy to pick up. Do we go for a Rams counter? Do we go for a half-back one? And I think we're just going to start pushing now, but we're going to let the clock run down a little bit. As the Ravens defense prepares for us. And uh, I'm not even going to pretend to not let the clock run down here. Is in her way. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what McNair was doing. No game. No game, but the clock is ticking, so that is that is good. Go for a half back dive. Not really as productive in general, but uh there are games that are nice, and then there are games that are just hard work, and this is one of the hard working ones. 34 seconds, 10, 9, 8. Cam Akers going to be going for a run towards the right hand side. Yeah, try to change the route. Number 93, Kelly Campbell still got it. Fourth and seven. Clock ticking down here. Eight seconds to go. And do we get the kick away? Yes, we do. And ball is between the sticks. Can we score? 12 versus 3 for the home team for the LA Rams. And we win our fourth game this season with 9 points to spare. Hard fought game. It wasn't a spectacular game, but 90% uh, completion rate, 135 yards, no interceptions. That's important for me. Rushing yards. Fantastic by Cam Akers. 150 yards. He's hard. One yard. Um, great stuff here. Receiving Mayor and Jamar Chase. And then Cam Akers. One yard. <laughs> Alright, that's a fun one. Sam Cosme. Great blocking here by our offensive line. 
No sacks for us this time. That defense really did their job. Carl Laftis, Ramsey, Anak Barry, Jones. Well done. Well done, good game. Oh, George Karlaftis actually got a sack. 2.5 sacks. Anthony Hines half a sack. Great, good result. Khalil Shakir, our tight end, gets an upgrade towards vertical threat. A lot of points catching medium route, pass block, pass block, power, run block, and short route. Putting him to 72 now. And, uh, with that, I will conclude the episode on a high. Fantastic result for us. We finished the game 12 and three. It was a hard fought game against the Ravens with a very solid defense. And we're four and one topping the NFC West again, back to winning ways. Very happy about that. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. That always helps me a lot. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.